what if somebody, in spite of all these things, goes ahead and uh, does moonlighting or work for somebody else? How does HR tackle that? Is this enforceable under law? Well, let me say this. First of all, if you have work covers and you've done your work within this work covers, what you do outside is none of anybody's concern, much less HR. Let's be clear about that. Okay? Right. Let's be clear about that. Point number one. Point number two, you have natural restrictions in confidentiality agreements. You will not do work for certain clients, blah, 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 because you have certain information that you have to adhere. Let's not negotiate on that. Beyond that, if you're doing work, it is you know, it's up to you. So long it doesn't uh, impeach upon a work. For example, you work all night and come to office and spend eight hours, sleep three hours, that's not okay. Correct. When you're in office, you must do work, you're paid for it, you must uphold your contract. Correct? And there are some limitations on whom you, what you do outside your office, that conference agreement you must adhere. Beyond that, you're free and you can do what you want. I mean, you know, if you work for somebody and spend two, three hours consulting, tutoring, suppose you tutor some kids, your kids or other kids, is it wrong? It's not moonlighting. See, yes. cheating happens. Cheating is when you use an employer's time and the mm. money that he gave and then use that time to work for somebody else. That Absolutely. is cheating. But That's on your free cool. time, you do what you want. That is not cheating. That is your freedom to do what you want. We are free beings, the free country. Let's be very clear. I think Rishad must have meant that people were using company time and getting company money and doing some moonlighting for somebody else, which is cheating, that I agree. But beyond that, no. Right.